Hey, so I'm getting ready to do some, um, oh, I'm getting ready to do a lot of things, actually. I'm going to be reloading some 45 with black powder, 45 Colt, and um, I'm trying to chronograph all my black powder um, firearms and just see how they actually perform um, using black powder, just using my normal loads. I've already pretty much worked up to whatever load I like. And in most cases, that's a matter of, you know, fit in pretty much maximum charge of black powder, and, and uh, that should work good. But, um, but yeah, I'd be interested to see how um, these things go. Uh, something that I've noticed, and, like, this is my very first black powder revolver, uh, 15 to 20 years old. Um, and when I first got it, I made a bit of a mistake. And um, my mistake was, I think, being too careful in some ways. Anyway, so I got the instructions, and it says to use a uh, uh, maximum of... Um, I don't even remember what it was now. I think it was, I think it was 20 grains or 22 grains or something like that. And um, so me being all cautious but not really knowing and this was before YouTube and you know, all these other um, you know instructional um, video places were up so there wasn't a lot of information out there on loading them at this point anyway so it said uh, something like that so all right so it said so many grains I think it was 20 and I went and I measured out with a fairly sensitive scale, I measured out the maximum charge. Of course, I was going to do that um, instead of working it up like a sensible person would. But anyway, measured out the maximum charge, um, put it down the cylinder, and um, had a bit of trouble ramming home the, you know, actually getting the balls to go down um, because there was so much powder in the cylinder, and. Um, you know, proceeded to uh, fire it off anyway, and and the other thing, it was triple seven, not real black powder, which is 15% uh, more powerful than real black powder. Black powder. So um, I made a few mistakes there. Uh, if I remember rightly, it well, one, it sounded sounded awful loud, and it sounded awful fast, and you know, um, not saying it kicked too much, but it definitely sounded like it had a lot of to it. Um, when I'd shot a few um, cylinders like that, uh, it was letting the barrel really badly, because I think the bullets are actually moving too fast, and um, the accuracy wasn't great, not that I'm very good with it anyway. Um, this top piece popped off, the actual hammer, it's been a while now, but I think that actual hammer um, popped back to half cock. So anyway, there was a lot of a lot of little signs there that says I had too much powder in there, and I think what the problem is, you know, I'm trying to I'm trying to measure out a charge, um, which is meant to be volumetric. Um, you know, here's the you see that in the video, yeah. So I've got three different. Oh, that's a 45 Colt case, um, but I've got a, two other. Volumetric um, charge, uh, volumetric measure the, uh, for measuring the charge. And um, what I have noticed is that so that one's set for 70. Sorry, I've got a bit of wind going on here. It's messing with my scale. This one's set for 70. set for 70 grains, get it measured out at only 
58 by weight. This one here is set to 10. Colt case as well, because I always seem to remember a 45 Colt was supposed to have 40 grains of black powder. Um, with the old, they called them balloon cases, the old cases, it had a little bit more powder in it, but even this seems low. So, 36. That's pretty close, actually, I guess. So, Anyway, that's just something I want to... So, what I did, um, you know, I tried measuring out a charge. If I tried measuring out, uh, say, 70 grains of charge um, by weight, I would have ended up with a lot more um, powder in than the 70 grains volumetric. So, that's a, um, a little bit of a trap that I uh, hope you don't fall into. So anyway, um, I'm going to check the, uh, the the ballistics on this uh, 1862 Pocket Navy, Navy uh, 375 round ball, approximately 78 grains, and uh, I cast that myself with a lot of wheel weight lead, so it's not, it's not pure lead, so it's a little bit harder than uh, um, what you would normally use. And this is going to be my my normal charge. This is what I normally load it with, and I measured out the charge from one of those cylinders how I normally load it, and uh, it came to 13 grains by weight. So, um, and that's what I'm using in this now: 13 grains by weight. still may have that trouble today. Um, sometimes I saw a, uh, a guy doing a reenactment where he actually held it up like this and let the cap fall out. So it kind of looked a little bit funny, but it does actually seem to work. So anyway, we'll see how it goes. Number one. And I forgot to turn on the crony. cap did blow off, get stuck underneath the hammer. See the hammer's knocked back a bit. There we go. That has fallen out now. Let's try that again. 667.7. And once again, you can see the cap up there. You can 
can see the cap jammed in there. That one actually would probably go around. That's going around okay, so. Last one. Whoa! 752.3. That's a bit of a spread. Okay. So I'm going to add those up and. Uh, I'm going to add those up and just see what the, uh, the foot pounds on those are. Let's see where that cap is. That's alright. If they're like that, they normally go round and then fall out this section here. But uh, if they blow off and get into here, that's what jams up the mechanism. You pretty much got to look at it every time you shoot. That's it. I don't know if you saw that last bit, but anyway. Okay, just finishing up here. Um, so I've got, these were the caps I was using to number 11s. Um, with those uh, pocket navies, and with my, I've got a pocket police as well, and they both need to have the, uh, the number 11s. Um, slightly pinched so that they stay on and the number 10s uh, I use number 10s for my Remington and the number 10s are too small they just they don't fire reliably but uh, number 11s and just pinch them a little bit um, the bullet lube as usual I'm just using my uh, homemade uh, um, natural lube from beeswax and lard but a winter mixture and just over the ball and uh, so those were my, you saw, whoop, you saw my velocities that I got for the four. Those are the calculated um, foot pounds, so 77 for the second shot. Uh, I didn't record the first shot. 72 for the third, 73 for the fourth, and 97.2, 97.92 for the fifth. Um, I don't know why I got such a, an out of range shot there. Uh, yeah, I just don't know, but that's something I have trouble with. I have trouble getting a, a good, you know, very consistent shot. Maybe if I took more care with um, measuring out the powder charge, maybe I would do a lot better on that. And probably that's what it is, because, uh, you know, I just quickly load them up. But anyway, um, pretty good. Good velocities. Um, so... I said I used 13 grains by weight of uh, black powder, and that actually equates to about 20 grains um, uh, using a volumetric measure, which most people are going to use. So, you know, that puts you in there, 750. So I'm a bit low. Maybe that fifth one was the, you know, the good one on that, but a bit low. Just comparing. Um, against what's in the book, but I don't care. It's uh, it's fun to shoot, and I'm getting pretty good velocities. I just wish I could uh, get my consistency up better. Um, yeah, so, all right, have a good one.